A fight turns into a mass shooting on Cleveland's east side. Seven people were injured in the hail of gunfire that happened in the parking lot outside a bar. News 5's Jordan Vandenberg joins us live with surveillance video showing the aftermath of the shooting. Well, the shooting happened as a local rapper was apparently filming part of a music video in the parking lot of the bar where outside the shooting happened, and it ended with three people in critical condition. It be so much fun in the hood. I, lo I love the hood. As part of a music video, local artist Q Money was rapping about life on the streets. Not long after, his song's subject matter came to life. Surveillance video captured people scattering after more than a dozen gunshots tore into the crowd of people gathered in the parking lot of an east side bar. One of the people captured on surveillance appears to be holding a gun. According to Cleveland police, the shooting happened after a man tried to break up a fight between two women. That's when witnesses say another man started to open fire. Police say one of the shooters fired multiple shots at a man who lay on the ground wounded. In total, seven people were shot. Three of them were seriously wounded and remain in critical condition. During a press conference unveiling the police department's new community engagement officers, Chief Calvin Williams briefly touched on the early morning shooting. This is one component of community engagement for the division. Uh, this isn't a strategy to solve every problem that we have uh, as a city. Uh, this is uh, what these guys do to connect our officers to the community and hopefully you know, one of those persons that's at a community meeting that these guys meet at the gas station or at the rec center are going to give them information about things like, you know, that happened last night. Q Money posted this video to Instagram, showing him filming parts of a new music video at the bar's parking lot. Bar staff told us they did not have permission to be there. 90 minutes after that video was posted, the lights and cameras were replaced by crime scene tape and evidence markers. And according to a Cleveland police report, they also did recover a firearm at the scene. So far, no arrests have been made and no suspects have been publicly identified. Reporting live in Cleveland, Jordan Vandenberg, News 5.